So I just wanted to make a video uh, talk about my history with the, um, how I got into pop PvP. So I start I started playing around 2013, 2014. Um, and I started playing because uh, I played OP factions and I liked P uh, the PvP aspect of it. So I started like looking into more uh, PvP videos and stuff like that. And I, I don't know, how, I stumbled upon the pop PvP community somehow. It, I believe it was one of uh, Apache Blitz's videos. Um, or it might have been Stimpy as well, so I don't know. Could have been both, but it was mostly, uh, I believe it was Apache that I came across first. So in the beginning, I, uh, when I started playing pop PvP, it was just to uh, improve my PvP skills. But over time, it was... Um, that I started playing more uh, Poppy P, or I started maining it around like uh, maybe 2014, 2015 is when I started maining Poppy P, and you know I started do uh, maining Poppy P because my I didn't have any friends to play with Minecraft on, so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just keep playing Poppy P, you know, just have some fun and stuff like that. Um, and I remember when I and it was around this time, like, uh, Poppy P was, like, dying, obviously. Or, I should say not PvP. Well, yeah, it was Poppy P, but, like, like, a lot of players were quitting, and, uh, Koei was, like, dying, obviously, around this period. Like, what was it, like, yeah, 2014, 2016, like, Koei was basically dying. So, I just, like, I pretty much quit when Koei closed down. I like played a little bit of bad line um when the Koei merger happened, but it was like okay, like no one's playing and like everyone just fucking quit. So it's like okay, I guess there's no one to play with anymore. Like this kind of sucks. So pretty much I just quit there and then um yeah. And and MC teams and all that happened. And I was like... I already quit by then, right? What was that, like... 2016 it opened or something like that? I don't remember, but... Yeah, I just... I wasn't, like, part of the community at that point. Because I... For one, I just... uh Kind of, like, lost love for the game at that point. Because... um Obviously, like, I'm kind of... Obviously, well, I guess I would call myself an OG, I guess. But not really. Like... I was like, uh, I mainly played uh, debuff, right? So it was kind of, it was like, I really didn't like where the community was headed in terms of like gameplay and like what people were doing. Like, so for example, like no debuff. And, and you know, like there was no terrain maps anymore. So I was just like, dude, this is so dumb. Like I, cause when I was like, uh, obviously when I started, it was mostly uh no deep uh mostly debuff so that was what i like playing the most and i like the skill involved so when like no debuff became popular i was just like uh you know like i it was enjoyable because obviously it was like you know it was different from debuff obviously but it was kind of sh uh shitty after a while because it's just like dude it's just like it just turned into cps basically and like w tapping <laughs> pretty much um and that kind of like I don't know, there was, like, less variables to the game, so, like, less skill, right? Because back then, you had to be good at, like, debuffs. You had to worry about pretty much everything, right? Your armor breaking, etc. And so that was, like, obviously, that was, like, mostly what I played. And when that stopped being popular, I was kind of like, oh, yeah, this kind of sucks because I really like debuff. But obviously, most of the community likes debuffs, so it's kind of like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Oh, I, I kind of got I kind this. Well, I kind of like went, jumped ahead, but I, I wanted to like talk about the death of debuff, and that's kind of like what I was like getting about like a few moments ago. But I don't know if like new generation players know this, but like debuff was like the main thing that everyone played back then. It was kind of like yeah, if like if you didn't play debuff, like no one cared. Like no one cared about no debuff back then. It's kind of like come on, dude. Like that's not actually like. 
that's not what a heart you know like if you're gonna play hardcore factions like people are gonna use debuffs that's kind of silly to play no debuff or like to mainly play no debuff but yeah so i mean i didn't play vanilla the vanilla kit too much because uh, it was like i don't know i guess too complicated back then for me i was just like oh this is li like too confusing so yeah i just played mainly uh debuff back then um let me see but like when did debuff really start dying like that's what something i've been thinking about i think it was like around 2014 2015 is like when it really started dying I don't know the exact reason, but one of the big reasons is that one, like, obviously popular community, the community at large does not like playing debuff. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but that's just the case. Um, I think it's just, I think one of the main reasons is that obviously no debuff is easier to get into, right? Like, because if you're trying to, like, get into pop UP, like, not only do you have to worry about all, like, these weird pots in your inventory, and then you gotta splash them on you, you then you gotta worry about people throwing potions on you, it's like, oh my god. So, that's probably, like, uh, one, it's probably, like, one of the big reasons it, uh, uh, no debuff got so popular, it's just because it's just easier. Um, because obviously debuff takes a lot more skill, right, because obviously if people land their debuffs on you, like, you're kinda fucked, honestly. If you can't get your debuffs on them, or like if you don't uh, land insane combo combinations on them, but yeah, I can't really uh, comment on MC teams. But from what I've seen, it looks like debuff like pretty much wasn't played either on MC teams. Like it looks like uh, on Lunar there was like a little bit of revival of debuffs because I saw from TJ's videos. Looked like some people started playing debuff again, but. Looks like it quickly died. <laughs> yeah. It's just like... I, debuff is just never going to get popular again, pretty much, I would say. Um, just from the community. Just from what I've seen. Just people don't like debuff. People like the whole just clicking super fast and just running at each other. It's just like, okay, I guess. <laughs> so it just becomes like CPS based at that point. Like... Let me see... Uh, in players I like really looked up to were like Apache Blitz like is probably the main player I like looked up to because I watched all his videos dude I would like I'd be like okay like how can I copy like Apache's like movement and everything like that because I was just like dang like I want to get good too <laughs> that's what I was thinking back then uh and also watched Snoopy um I don't I don't know if you guys know this guy but he was a Japanese player and uh, he was really good. He had like 300 ping, 200, 300 ping. It was just ridiculous. So he would like literally fly <laughs> when people hit him. But somebody was hitting them back, obviously because of the lag. So it was just insane watching him. Um, yeah, it was just like crazy. I also like Apache because, like, you know, I have around the same ping that he did during his like prime, I guess. Like, you know, around like, you know, the 80, 100 ping, etc. So I really like watching Apache because, like, pretty much everything I watched from his videos, like, I could copy because we had the same ping and uh, similar click speed at the time. So I was just like, oh, sick when I was watching his videos. But obviously, um, when I started playing, he wasn't, like, the best anymore at that point. Like, he was still good, but, like, obviously he was, like, past his prime, I guess. Like, he still, like, hit leaderboards sometimes, but it was, like, nowhere near, like, actually, like, being top because at that point like guys like Stimpy and like other guys started um being on later boards and like a lot of low uh ping players so he couldn't really keep up back then um yeah I guess uh, that's pretty much it honestly like in terms of like the history of like me I was always like just a prac player I never played a uh, hardcore factions because I just didn't have anyone to play with it also, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of like uh, single player games a little bit more, or single player like uh, stuff like that, because I'm able to like, because when you play single player, then it's, you know, if you lose, it's, you know, it's all on you, you know, but when you play multiplayer, like, 
you know, there's so many other factors like your teammates um, and stuff like that. And that just really like sucks. You could play, you could be playing your best and you like still lose. So that's always, always frustrating to me. That's kind of like the reason I like the, the prac servers. Cause it's like, okay, you can improve, keep improving by yourself. And like, you know, it's all on you. You know, there's no one really to blame for your um, losses. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of my history.